Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Kai and I'm super excited today to share with you all a bunch of items that I picked up from Timu and AliExpress. This is going to be a kind of a huge haul, I will warn you now. I have this whole bag of stuff and then a box sitting next to me as well of some other items. So I had purchased quite a few items over the last few months and I haven't really had time to like sit down and show off everything that I got. So now that I actually have time, I am going to be showing you everything, which means this will be quite a long video. I'm going to do the first portion as like tools and things for my press-ons that I ordered. And then the second portion will be decorations and rhinestones and that sort of thing. For that portion, I think I'm going to do even another video showing me organize all of them because I'm actually waiting right now for more um, organization containers to come in so I can organize them all. But I did want to show them all off, include some links, chit chat with you all about the products, and just give my thoughts and share what I have ordered. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Thank you so much for being here and I'm excited to show you all what I got. Okay, so let's get the kind of boring stuff out of the way first. This is the first item I picked up. It is just a little um, pump container. But I wanted this one because it has a, a, a metal cap. Let me see here. Yeah, so it has this little um, metal top to it so that when you pump out the liquid and you wash your brush out in here, any sort of gel polish or anything like that isn't going to necessarily stick to the metal. I do have another one. Let me see, where is it? I do have another one right here. And this one I love actually. I use it all the time. It's super handy, but it is plastic. And sometimes like the product um, kind of pools here if I'm using it to like dip my brush into briefly. So I just wanted to pick up another one that was metal. Also, this one is supposed to be safe for acetone, whereas I believe this one is not because it's um, like a different type of plastic. So yeah, I'm gonna put my acetone in this one and my regular alcohol in this one. Okay, next up I got some little silicone tools. These were actually a recommendation from Hope, the Nailed Box of Hope. I've talked about her channel before. I will link it down below. But um, she is one of my YouTuber friends here who does nails and she's really awesome, like Japanese, Korean inspired styles. But I saw her using these. She sent me the link. Uh oh. Oh no, one came broken. That's okay. Let me see, where's a little nib? Okay, well, that I will have to maybe request a refund for. I don't even know if I will. Um, Timu is pretty good about doing refunds. These ones I did get off of Timu, but uh, I don't know if it's worth it to be honest. The other ones are still here. They're still usable. Um, a little dirty, but that's okay. We can clean them off. Um, but yeah, they're just like really teeny tiny mini silicone tools to sculpt with, to apply chrome with, whatnot. These are gonna be so useful, I think, for like isolated chrome designs where you have like a little teeny tiny area that you want to rub the chrome in. I'm also excited to use these for like 3D sculpting. I think these really fine pointed tips will really help me up my sculpting game. So yeah, super excited to try these ones out. So next up is another little silicone tool. This one here is just like a, a silicone makeup sponge replacement. So it is one of those like little makeup eyeshadow tools, but made out of silicone. I do really like though that this one comes with a little cap. I think that's super handy and it's gonna keep your silicone tool nice and clean because we all know Lint loves to stick to these kinds of things. So that's really nice. I, I do really like that this comes with the cap. So I will be using this to rub in chrome powders over like large areas and the smaller ones to do the really tiny little details. I will try to link most everything down below. Um, I have a feeling I'm not going to have room for absolutely everything. So if I show something that isn't in the description, just shoot me a comment um, and I will try to get the link to you if I can find it. 
All right, next up was a set. So it is this little sponge dabber thing that's supposed to be good for doing ombres. So yeah, it's this little sponge holder. Um, the way it works is you push this and it extends these little arms and you pick up one of these little teeny tiny sponge cubes. And it's supposed to be really good for doing ombres or like the aura look. You just do that and grab the sponge like so. Yeah, now you can dab away and you're not like holding the sponge with your hand and getting your fingers in the way or touching like the nail polish with your fingers um, or even like with your gloves. So yeah, I'm excited to use this. I mean, look, you can tell it's kind of cheap. Again, Timu, these kind of things are gonna be cheaper. Actually, I might've gotten this off of AliExpress. I'm not sure, again, I'll try to link it. Um, I've seen one on, I can't remember if it was Sweetie Nail Supply or Zillaboo, but they have like a higher quality one where the sponge is just a little bit smaller. And that way when it gets grabbed, it actually like pulls back these corners like this so that you get like a nice rounded edge to dab onto the paint. Um, so yeah, I'll see if I like this one. And if I do, I might try to pick up like a nicer one. Cause it seems like maybe this doesn't fit the sponge super well, but we'll see. Okay. Up next is <laughs> kind of weird, but I did get two, um, silicone fingers. So these are just single fingers. They have the little slot here where you stick in the nail tip. And I thought it might be good for doing like practice videos or for tutorials where I don't want to put like nails on myself. Um, but I want to show like how a look would appear on an actual finger. Um, it's also good for practicing like acrylic and whatnot. I don't do acrylic. I hate when I ordered these. I wanted to get into acrylic and I still do. I've seen people sculpt some really cool things with acrylic in terms of 3D nail art. Things that are just harder to do with gel because of the consistency. Um, I haven't found the time to get into acrylic yet, but it is an eventual goal of mine. So it's nice to have these um, practice fingers. And it came in a set of like two different skin tones. Up next, I have a couple different palettes. So I'll show this one first. So this one's just a really cute little acrylic palette. Um, this is just like a, a protective sticker. Let's see if I can get it off here. One side and for the peel. There you go, beautiful. So it's just this little clear acrylic palette. Um, it's in the shape of a cloud. I had just wanted something to mix my colors on. Um, I like using these clear acrylic ones. They do get scratched up though. I've noticed that when I use my palette knife, I do really like using a palette knife for mixing together colors, but the one I have is metal. Let me show you. So I like using this one. It's like an actual just regular paint palette knife. Um, but because it has this really nice flat edge, it scrapes the color up really well. However, I noticed when I used this on like a little heart palette that I had, an acrylic one, it scratched up the acrylic really bad. So I'm going to reserve this for mixing with a silicone tool versus this metal palette knife. So because this one is acrylic and because I didn't want to scratch it up with a palette knife, I got this one, and this is just a little glass mixing palette. Here we go. So this one's glass. It's not sharp around the edges, which is good. I was, <laughs> I'll admit, I was a little bit worried. Again, with Timu stuff, you kind of have to take a roll of the dice on the quality, but it's not sharp or anything, which is nice. And it is made of glass, so I shouldn't be like scratching it up too much when I mix my paints with this palette knife on it. 
And the last one I got is just this little ring palette. So this is just an acrylic ring um, you can stick on so that while you're like doing your nails and painting, you don't have to like put everything down and go to your bigger palette. If you're just using like one color on a liner brush or something, you can be wearing this, holding your nail set, your nail stand with this hand and then dip into the color and just go straight there rather than having like something to the side as long as you're only using like one or two colors. Um, this one's cute. I really like the way it looks, but I will say it's a little banged up. You can see there, there's like, I don't know, maybe it's glue. I'll see if I can get it off later. I'll try to clean it off. It is just a little um, banged up and glued, but for like a dollar, you know, I guess, what can you expect really? Um, let's see, drawbacks of ordering from Timu. All right, the last kind of palette I got are just more of these um, little sticky notes. So these are disposable. If you're gonna be doing a look and you know you're gonna be making a huge mess and you don't wanna have to bother cleaning off the palette, these are just little like laminated sticky notes almost. They have the shiny side that you can put paint products on and it will not stick. So you can mix things on this paper and then when you're done, you can just toss it. I do have something like this already. I have these here, but unfortunately I did um, get some acetone on them, so they're all like stuck together on the side. And I will use these, I will use these up, but um, for like video purposes, I <laughs> I do care about aesthetics. Um, I'm trying to make my videos, my work with me videos, more pleasing to watch by keeping my area pretty clean. That's uh, my next kind of goal with filming and whatnot. So I got these for when I am doing a video where I just, I want to keep things looking really nice and neat. These ones are not looking so good, especially if I'm doing like branded content, if I'm working with um, like Sweetie Nail Supply or with Born Pretty or something where I want the video to just look really nice and pleasing. Um, I don't want to have to use these ones where it looks a little, uh, a little dirty on the side, you know, but I will use them up. I don't like wasting, so. I will use these still, just not for videos, if that makes sense. Oh gosh, I already feel like I've talked a lot. So next up, I just have some adhesives. So these are just little sticky adhesives for swatches. Something that you can put on the back of your little glass beads or your little acrylic beads for swatches and then stick to either the polish bottle or a swatch card if that's what you use. And then these are just um, more long strip adhesives. These are for my press-ons. So that when I go to put them in their little, their little case, I have the strip adhesive um, already cut. I can just pull it off, put it in the case. I don't have to worry about like cutting it to the right length. So yeah, nothing too special, just some double-sided tape. Now, also for my swatches, I got some different little swatches, um, swatch beads, I guess. I don't really know what you call them. I'll be honest. These two are from Timu. I can't remember if these were AliExpress or Timu. Either way, I should have read it carefully because these are very small. <laughs> They're little teeny tiny. Let me see if I can open them and show you. These are super teeny tiny little heart swatches. Honestly, you could probably use them like on a nail if you really wanted to. Let me see. Yeah, totally. I mean, it'd be a chunkier heart charm, but it would work. Oop. I guess the only reason you might not want to is they are glass. So they are gonna be like a little heavier and they might not stick as well. And they might not stick as well unless maybe you like etch the back a little bit. Yeah, actually, I mean, again, they might actually be really cute on the nail. So they were, uh, they were advertised as swatch uh, beads, but that's on me for not paying attention to the size. Well, they might be cute actually on top of the bottle. Like, let me grab a polish bottle. 
It's like if you have a bottle like this that has one of those super flat tops, you could maybe paint on the back of this and then just put it on the top. Yeah, maybe I'll try that because I have some of these polishes that um, the color is on the outside but it's not on the top and I don't always know like how accurate the outside of the bottle is to the color. I think this one's fairly accurate but a little bit lighter. Okay, this is an example because Doe does a pretty good job of actually showing what the color is on the bottle but if you have like a brand that doesn't come with any sort of coloration on the outside or anything to indicate what color it is. These might be really cute for doing like a teeny tiny sample swatch and gluing it to the top so you know what you're looking at. Okay, so first I wasn't really sure, you know, if, uh, if I like these, but okay. And now I found an use for them. And then these ones I've seen going around, they're these really cute little bears. Here we go. Look at them. They're so precious. Just little teeny tiny acrylic bears. So you paint on the back of them and then these go on your swatch card. Very adorable. I'll have to save these for a special set that really fits like the, the bear theme. And then I got some acrylic hearts. Now I have some glass ones, they're really chunky though, and so I wanted just some, some acrylic ones that would be a little bit easier to work with, although I will say what I don't love about these, as you can probably see here, the little like place where they were attached to the frame is still there on some of these, so you do have to like clip that off or file it off. Not the most ideal, but again, these were cheap. So, what do you expect, you know? So these stickers are for customer orders with my press-ons. Um, I do like just little freebie stickers. I thought these were super adorable. They're little fairies and butterflies and pink, which is very much on brand for me. I really like pink. Um, maybe you can tell. <laughs> um, so yeah, I like pink and I love green and I love fairies and butterflies and all things magical. So I had been doing cutesy animal stickers, um, little axolotl stickers because axolotl are one of my favorite animals, but I did want to go with something this time that was just a little bit more maybe like usable for some people. Um, so yeah, I thought these were really pretty and adorable. And then I got this little acrylic frame. It is a lot smaller than I originally thought it would be. Another reason why, uh, you should definitely read the listing completely and check the measurements because um, I thought it would be a little bit bigger, but actually I think it'll be fine. It's for doing like nail pictures, not necessarily like this, but like having it sitting in the background. I watch a lot of really like aesthetic nail artists who do vlogs and stuff. People like dreamy little nails and I know she uses some of these frames in the background of her swatch videos and stuff and it just makes them look really nice and refined. So this is more of just like a decoration piece. Um, I also recently started watching Peachy Nail Company. Um, she uses these as well. I really like her content. She does really nice BTS inspired sets and she does vlogs for her nail shop. So I will leave her channel link down below as well. She's awesome. But yeah, I wanted to get one of these. I already have quite a few of like frames and stuff, but I didn't have a white one. So I thought this would be nice for decorations and for photos. Okay, and last but not least, in terms of tools, I got some more nail stands. Now, these ones are all from Timu, and I will say I'm not very happy with them. Uh, like, if you look at this one here, all of the metal plates are gone. <laughs> I don't know what the heck happened with this one, but they're like all over the bag. Um, they're also just like 
they're super thin little plates of metal that are glued onto this acrylic stand. I'll show you this one. Um, this one here was unglued. And actually this one came kind of like free floating. Uh, it wasn't in a bag like these two were for some reason. I don't know what happened there. But this little plate was detached. So I took a nail file and I filed down the back of the metal plate along with the surface of the acrylic stand and just use some nail glue to reattach it. It seems to be holding really well. However, like if you look here, they're not placed very evenly at all. Um, the, the stands themselves I like, so these I like. Like these are heavy duty, I think they're full metal. Yes, like these are nice, I like these. They're fully metal, so they're sturdy, they've got some weight to them. I really like the nail stands with like a skinny profile. That way your, oops. That way your pinky finger nail is gonna stay on there and it's not going to be, or the stand won't be too wide to fit the pinky finger nail on there. So I really like these ones, but this part I'm not super impressed with. I would recommend getting them from AliExpress instead. Let me see if I can grab my AliExpress stand. So this is a stand that I got from AliExpress. I'll try to link it below. The stands themselves are not metal, so that's why I got these ones, because they have the, the metal um, stand. These are just like plastic. But these are much better quality, I would say, because First of all, if you look at the placement of the metal dots, is it perfect? No. But is it a lot more consistent than this one? Yes. Let me compare them. Like this one's way all over the place. And this one's, sure, they're a little bit off, but not so much to where it's, it looks quite as bad. And that's just me being nitpicky. But like this one here is almost completely off the edge, which bothers me. And then this one is like super spaced out, whereas these two are close together. But what I can do is just stick these ones on here. And then it'll work just fine. That's where I'm at with these. I do wish this was nicer though, because I like the plain clear acrylic, whereas this one sometimes the shininess of this um, portion of the stand is a little bit distracting, I feel. So I wish I had this in this style. So I might go back to the seller and see if they have something uh, that's a little bit more simple. But yeah, I recommend this over this one, I would say. Okay, and that's it for like tools and things for my shop. Up next is the fun part, the decorations. Oh my gosh, somebody needs to put me on a budget. <laughs> I actually told my boyfriend that he has to um, help me not spend any more on nail supplies for the rest of the summer because I got a few orders on Etsy and I kind of went a little bit crazy with buying nail stuff that I, let's be honest, I don't need more, but they just come out with so many cute things. So I got these two sets of stickers. These are both from Timu and they're just cute little like lace designs. I got the black and I got the white. I'm not going to go over these in too much detail in this video because I am going to do like an organizing video where I take everything um, and I put them away, but I did just want to show everything off. So I got these stickers. I got this potted gel. So these are orders that I had placed even months ago, like way back in March. So I had wanted some more white textured gel. Um, that was before I got the Debok Canvas Mini Collection. The Canvas Mini Collection are a group of polishes, comes with white, black, and all of the colors of the rainbow. And they're super gorgeous, thick paint-like textures. They have a non-white finish too. So they're really good for like the last step of a look. Um, but I, I, again, I ordered this before I received that Divac mini collection, um, so I wanted something textured, and this one looked good. I'm noticing now, I think it's sparkly. You can see that? It's got sparkle in it, which I did not realize. Um, I'm 
might be kind of fun. It did separate a little bit. You can see there's some separation going on, but I'm sure it'll be fine once I stir it. If not, this one was um, pretty cheap, so I wasn't expecting like a ton. But yeah, I just wanted some texture gel for when I do like painted looks. Um, I would strongly recommend the Devoc Mini Canvas if you do really like the painted look and you want to invest in some really nice, creamy, vibrant painting gels um, that are textured, like regular paints, like oil paints, something thick. I do have a discount code with Sweetie Nail Supply. It is get pressed for 10% off. I really appreciate everyone who's ordered using my code. Um, you're definitely feeding my nail addiction habits, but that's okay. Uh, I do. I just really appreciate it. I'm really grateful for everyone who watches my channel and for everyone who has supported me on this nail art journey. I did get a couple more gels. So these are just some little potted glitter gels, I believe, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so these are just little um, potted glitter gels. I'd seen them all over on AliExpress, I think is where I actually got these ones from. And so I wanted to finally get them and try them. But that's the gold. It is really pretty. It is more of like a silvery gold though. Maybe not quite as um, like warm toned as I would have liked. It is quite silvery cool toned. That's okay though. It does, I'll admit, it does have a little bit of a, of a, like, a gel smell. It is a little bit strong, but I thought it looked really pretty. I do want to compare it to, I just recently picked up Born Pretty's new glitter polishes or potted glitters. I got the whole collection, so I am excited to receive those and swatch them. I ordered them from their summer sale. They do take a little while to ship, I will say. I love Born Pretty um, and most of their products. They're a really great, affordable budget brand, especially if you're just getting into nails, but they really have a huge range of products and they're always coming out with, um, I don't wanna call them dupes, but in some ways they're kind of like dupes of high-end Korean Japanese gel products um, that are, again, just affordable and maybe a little bit more accessible for some. So I'm excited to try these ones in comparison to the potted glitter gels from Corn Pretty because I don't think they were that different in price. I think these were a couple dollars. The potted ones from Born Pretty on a discount you can get for a couple dollars. Ooh, that's pretty. I do like this. This is supposed to be a rose gold. I would say, again, it's a little bit silvery for like a rose gold. I was expecting a little bit more of like a pink tone, but it is really pretty. I think they'll be really nice as just like streaks of color um, or streaks of shine on a nail set. Okay, and next up, I don't know what I was thinking, but I got like a billion packs of bows. Um, why do I need this many bows? I don't know. I went kind of crazy, I'll admit. So these two are the same. They were supposed to be packs of mixed colors. I wanted these because they had like these really nice dark red bows in the, uh, the listing picture. I'll try to put it on the side here. Um, and I really wanted some dark red bows. Unfortunately, I got two packs. They do come with random mixtures of colors and I did not get the dark red in either pack. So that's unfortunate. Um, otherwise, it looks like a fairly decent variety of the other colors. These ones are very springy, very like pastel-y. So yeah, unfortunate that I didn't get the dark red, but that's okay. Um, I'm excited to use like these blue ones here, the sky blue and the dusty blue. The black, the purple's fun. I don't do too many yellow sets, but I'm sure, you know, I could find a use for those. Um, yeah, very, very cute. And then I got a pack of these ones that are satin. So these ones are sheer, like mesh fabric, and these ones are just like regular satin fabric. And this one, 
came in cream, pink, like a dusty pink, a white, and a black. And then I got two packs of these. There are these little black mesh bows with a tiny little heart crystal in the center. These only came in packs of five, which is why I got two of them. Very cutesy. And then these are just like pink mesh bows, but they have a really nice design within the ribbon itself. Let me pull one out here. So they're like mesh, but in the center they have some really cute little stitching. They are big though. Like these ones are pretty um pretty big. They're like definitely a standout, uh standout charm. Not practical at all whatsoever. So if <laughs> if I'm using these on a set, it's gonna be a set that's need to be like a an event piece, something that maybe you would put on and wear for an evening out and then take off when you got home because trust me you're probably not going to be wanting to wash these um or get them like wet so yeah i got a bunch of little bows so in addition to like the red bows i had wanted them because i got these really pretty deep pink with some gold accent acrylic flowers and I wanted to do like a dark, vampy type design with the red bows, with these. Um, but yeah, unfortunately I didn't get any of the wine colored bows, but these are really pretty. And then I got a darker set of blue flowers. I already have these flowers, packs of these, um, in pink, green, and I think like a purple color but I didn't have like a deep blue color so I picked up these ones again I'm not showing that I'm not like taking them out and showing them off because I'm gonna do an organizing video eventually where I take all of these out of the package I put them in their containers right now I'm just waiting for another container to arrive to put a lot of like the the metal um, charms that I'm gonna show in a second into so yeah just a quick little sneak peek at all of these fun charms. I also got some acrylic pearls. So these ones are definitely meant for nails. These are these really pretty like champagne-y, dusty brown, pinky color. I thought these were super cute and I love that they came in the six box, um, six compartment sorter so that I can pick the specific size I want. So yeah, these were very nice. I decided to use these. And these ones, I don't think they're specifically for nails because as you can see, they're huge. Like the biggest size. I don't know, you could use it on a nail. I probably won't be, I probably will be using like these smaller sizes here. Um, I thought these were really pretty. They're mixed with like green iridescent pearls. And then I also got a mix of pink, purple, I guess it's just pink and purple, pink and purple iridescent pearls as well. So yeah, very cute. All right, more bows. This time these are acrylic though. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't need this many bows, but these are really pretty. They're these like iridescent um, purple acrylic bows with little heart rhinestone. Honestly, I got these maybe mm, like three months ago and they're super cute. I just, where I'm at with my nail art right now, I'm really liking molding my own things out of 3D gel in terms of like acrylic charms. I can't really do that with metal charms or rhinestones. So I'm still very much open to buying like rhinestones and metallic charms, but like these acrylic type things, I can do it myself and I think that's very satisfying um, to me personally. Now I know that other people don't have as much time to sit there fiddling with like 3D gels and whatnot and do everything by hand, nor do they maybe want to, which is, you know, totally fine to each their own. I think personally I'm at a point where I like doing these um, by hand. I might keep them 
in case I want to do like a one-off set or like just a really quick look for myself or maybe for somebody. Um, but I might also give some of these away. We'll see. Because I got two of these black ones too. Like, these I understand. These only came with five, which is why I got two of them. But like, why do I need 20? What was I thinking? I was thinking I had money. <laughs> and that I wanted pretty cute bows. But, uh, oh well. So, yeah. I might give some of these away. Um, but they're very cute. They're very dainty. Kind of smaller bows than what you usually might see. Yeah. For other acrylic things, I got more angels. I had needed these for a set that I do. It's like a, a Rococo angel set. Right now it's out of stock on my Etsy because I was missing these actually. I didn't have them. Um, so I ordered some more. Although, I'm gonna be honest. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna use these. <laughs> oh no. Hold on. Let me take a look. But they're looking a little, a little cursed. Let me see if my camera will focus. Yeah, if you can see there. <laughs> uh, the face on these ones is not looking great. The ones I was using previously were very adorable, very cherub-like. These ones, I'll be honest, are looking a little demonic. <laughs> um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know. And then these are just some cutesy Sanrio charms. So they have some little cinema rolls, some Chaco, Hello Kitty Melody, and some Kromi. I also don't know why I bought these because I'm also in a space where I'm loving doing my own um, characters <laughs> from 3D gels. But hey, this would be good for like a really quick set that I want to put together um, and I don't have the time to do my own 3D sculpting for. So it'll be nice to have these for that. And then I got some dried flowers. So I thought these would be really cute for encapsulating, for doing like milk bath looking nails. So I got like a pink set. I appreciated that it came with the, the greenery too. Like I might want to use some of that. And then I also got a white set. White with some, some little yellow flowers too. So that's those. I picked up some more metal frames because I was actually out of the circular gold ones that are also part of that blue angel rococo set. So now that I have these, um, I can think about restocking once I get some better angel decorations. So yeah, I just got gold and these are like a tarnished silver. I already have a bright silver. I wanted these ones because they're like that darker gunmetal color. I like these because you can put like custom gel in the inside and make your own charm out of them. I picked up some more little silver um, sea charms. This is for my beach themed set and also my aquarium nails. Unfortunately, my aquarium nails are not up on Etsy. <sighs> That's a whole story. Um, I'll link the video in the corner right there if you wanna know why those aren't available but they are available if you message me through Etsy and you request them, I can make them. Um, I'll put a little picture, a little maybe short video right here of those aquarium nails because they're really fun, um, but I needed some more silver charms for those. So these are just little sea themed studs. These were new. I hadn't really seen anything like this before, so. These are little metal studs that are locks and keys. And I thought these were super adorable. So it comes with three different lock types for each color, gold and silver, and then three different key types. 
and I thought these would be really cute to either embed in a nail set or even maybe like hanging off of a little chain. They might not be sturdy enough for that though. Let me see. Yeah, I don't think these are sturdy enough to like, well, actually maybe. Trying to bend them here and they're not bending super easily so actually i might be able to hang these off of like a chain and have it dangle as like just a little charm at the end of the chain for a set yeah actually these are sturdier than i thought they were they're not breaking right away like i thought maybe they would if i bent it too much very cool okay super happy with that because these would be really cute to hang so with these very neat. Okay. I feel like I've been talking so much. I need to just like take a breather. <laughs> so I did get a silicone mold here. This is for butterfly wings. I have one like this, but it's not quite the same designs. Um, let's see. There you go. You can see them a little bit better there. These ones are very veiny and very like jagged edged butterfly wings whereas the ones that i have already are more like like these ones where they have very smooth edges to their wings but i really wanted like these ones here where the the wing design is very jagged so i'm excited to do some work with these oh my gosh we're getting down to it okay i picked up two of these silver heart frame packages i just thought these were really cute and again you can put like a custom mixed glitter gel or something in the center to make like a little charm um i really like these metal alloy frames because you can do just so much in terms of customization so yeah these will be really useful and handy to have I got these little gold hearts because I wanted them to be sort of like um, a, a little charm that I could hang off the end of a chain. I really like nails that have like little dangly chains on them. Super impractical, again, something that is meant for an event or something that you wear uh, probably briefly, unless you don't mind all of the, like, the danglies, but I think they look so cool like that. So I got these to go at the end of chains local parts these are just some little gold four well i guess they're technically eight pointed stars just a little crystal in the middle these are some super teeny teeny tiny little um zircon butterflies see there they're super super small but they're silver with a little um zircon rhinestone for the top wings i don't want to take them out because i want to save it for when i organize everything um but yeah it's super dainty and cute these ones are i got little metal bows because i have a lot of acrylic bows but i don't have a lot of metallic ones so i wanted a mixture so these are cute little silver bows I got these big monster charms. Um, they're like a, a silver moon with a little pink heart. And they have a little dangly star at the end, a little dangly four-pointed star. I love charms that dangle. I've been really wanting to do like um, a celestial themed design, so I'm excited to use these. Some more bows, but these are little like micro bows. Look at how teeny tiny. So cute. I really wanted these just because of like how small they were and how dainty. I'm sure you could do a lot with these. And some more like celestial themed charms. These are those like planet charms and a mix of colors. Very cute. It'd be good for those celestial, uh, for the celestial look. And then I got some gold crosses.
These are just some gold alloy crosses with a little charm in the middle. I thought these would be good for like um, a gothic look or a pirate theme. I really want to do a set of pirate animals. Just a really blinged out set of like black, red, and gold pirate nails. I think this would look awesome in. And then I don't know what I was thinking with these last ones, I'll be honest. I swear I have like two aesthetics, either really cutesy and pink, or I love black and like um, kind of edgy looking things. So I picked up these metallic charms. Um, I got these cool like pistols here. They're very ornate. I wanted in my head, I was like, oh, these would be perfect for um, if you've seen the anime Soul Eater. There's a character called Death the Kid and he uses two pistols. They're not exactly like this, like his pistols aren't metallic, um, but he holds them in a really interesting way. Um, he like holds them upside down and it's kind of like iconic for his character. So I thought I would do maybe like a Soul Eater set with these. Or hey, that pirate look that I was talking about, these would be awesome in two. Maybe I'll integrate these. Then I got some handcuffs because Timu suggested them to me and I was like, hey, these might be cool for like some sort of silvery edgy look, but like, what am I, what am I gonna do with these? <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, but they were only a dollar, so I got them. Now I'm looking at them and I'm like, okay, what in the world am I doing with these? But I thought they were cool. They're, yeah, again, just like edgy. And then I got these. There's some little silver safety pins. I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll just do like a black and silver set. That's just all about like edgy things. <laughs> Maybe I'll do like a karomi set. Like a spicy karomi set. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, these are they're very cute. Okay, so here is all of the like decorative items I got. I can't even fit the tools in the frame, but I wanted to set this up for a thumbnail and do a little outro. So thank you all so much for stopping by. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate everyone who supports this channel. I did recently start a Discord. So if you go to the description down below, there's a Discord invite link. If you use Discord, please feel free to join the channel. Um, I just wanted a place for people to be able to talk nails, share inspirations, share sales that they've heard of, um, collaborate and stuff. So anybody who watches my channel is welcome to join. Please just make sure that you're following the rules so that we can keep it a fun space for everyone to use. Um, yeah, um, thank you so much for being here. Um, check out all of my socials below and I will see you all next time. Have a good one. Bye